Hi, in this module I will be teaching you how to create a co killer content. When you create a killer content, you make sure that your audience really like the content and they really find your blog post or site content really valuable to them. So how can you do that? First is, you need to have a powerful headline. To need uh, to, to make a powerful headline, you make sure that you really can provoke their emotions, provoke interest, provoke um, curiosity. Who else wants to reach more than 1k blog traffic in 30 days? It really um, makes the people or makes the audience really think about, is there more strategies? Are there more strategies? needed to be done to, to really make 1,000 blood traffic 30 days possible or am I missing something? There are more questions in mind to your audience by just having the, the title alone or the headline and plus you have an image that supports an apt image just, not just any any image you can find really nice from license free sites and you have an intro that really provokes emotions exhilarating right try to observe who else wants to reach more than 1k blog traffic in 30 days what could be the emotion or what could be the feeling of the audience just be reading the the headline alone and then you give them a question exhilarating right and you don't start with your own personal story start with their concerns if you are a new creative blogger this is tough reaching 1000 views within one month within a month is already a huge struggle you are touching their emotions you're touching their problems you're touching their issues and from that alone they really could feel oh my gosh how can you read my mind? How come you read my mind? How come you know about what I'm struggling with right now? And then you end the first paragraph. Can you do it? From that alone, it really can incur emotions or powerful um, mindset. I am not sure how to really say it, but it's more on blending your audience needs with your personal experience through stating your struggle before. The technique here is you have to imagine yourself before, how you are before when you were trying to, to reach the 1000 views for your blog or 1000 views for your site, 1000 views for your uh, online shop if you are a business owner and how it was before and then you try to write the same situation for your audience who were also who are struggling now and their situation is really the same or similar from how you are before and that's the technique that we used so these exact words here are just the description of how we are before and we're really struggling with traffic we're struggling struggling on how to reach high traffic for our site and to make it more killer you have to make a pin and having a pin plus a button here which is a plug-in and it really makes much more killer why from this pin alone it makes um, more interest from the view of the Pinterest users and you have the freebies if you want to make a killer content if you want to make a killer blog post make a killer content upgrade what do we mean what do we mean by content upgrade it means these are the checklists worksheets freebies whatever freebies you have for your audience and this free course alone is already a killer freebie for you that you have taken advantage and if I try to sell this free course for you it should have been costing around a hundred dollars or so a hundred twenty nine dollars to be exact but I gave you it I gave it to you for free and give 
teaching you all this stuff is already a lot of advantage and a lot of value that you can give to us. And this is the exact, exact uh, situation, exact feeling, exact um, situation. How could I say it? Exact situation, exact feeling that you have to share it to share to your audience like they really can tell you oh my gosh why is she giving this so much value to me why is she giving it for free it's a lot of value to me and she's just giving it for free so you have that kind of um thinking installed in their mind so whatever you give whatever you produce like vlog content freebie content upgrade or whatsoever you provide it's always killer because you already gave them an impression of having killer blog posts just like this one so again to make a killer blog post you have to start with a killer headline a, a headline that provokes emotions and why not use negatives use the negative situation as a powerful headline you can also use fear you can also use anger you can use joy happiness or something that something that provokes emotions powerful emotions from them and start with the first two to three paragraphs with something emotional touch their hearts if you want don't touch with what you have before don't just touch with your personal experience they don't care that much about but if you try to blend it from the first few paragraphs with their concerns touch their hearts um, know their situations and put it into paragraphs that makes a good intro that makes a powerful intro captivating capturing their hearts capturing their emotions that makes a killer blog post plus you have a pin and with this pin you have an alt images when we say alt tags these are um if you try to pin you did you observe when you pin uh, an image then what the pinterest pop out comes out and then there is a description yeah from description you already have stated whatever descriptions you have there before you pin it to a board and that's where the alt tags exist so whatever you, tags you have placed there whenever somebody pins it these exact words will be pinned on their boards these are keywords these are descriptions that makes your blog post killer why because it's more searchable it's more indexable it's more detectable by pinterest it's more detectable by google and you're much more respected by google because of that because of the keywords that exist and it makes you post respectable from the eyes of the audience aside from that make your subheadings powerful and when it comes to powerful don't just make it really boring mundane don't just say okay tip number one or well this is just another intro really you started with a bang and you have to divide the post with subheadings that are also powerful with keywords right so you you create a pin this is a sequence make a powerful headline and if your theme supports a feature image you can place that start with two to three or four paragraphs about your um audience concerns and then pin and then this subheading which divides the content because it's really long content and then after that you have the opt-in button and when we say opt-in when they click that let's try to click they will see your email list yeah that's your goal you need conversion when you create the killer post and then another subheading which shows proof that makes another killer post proof don't just say blah blah don't just say crap don't just say theories show proofs and aside from that one one thing that most bloggers neglect is the power of backlinks 
have links from external sources as much as possible that makes Google love you more. So don't just say about anything you have experienced before and that's it. It's, it's really nonsense. Yeah, I'm not really telling biases or I'm not judging those lifestyle bloggers and all or maybe they're just talking about themselves and the experiences it's nothing wrong with that but the goal here is to make your post killer and what makes a killer blog post is to have a killer headline captivating powerful intro powerful subheadings and links exter links from external um, sources suggestions or any let's say read google analytics help and when you click that, it's really from another source because it uh, it is acknowledging that I'm not an expert yet on this part and let me ask Google for help. Yeah, and then another reference here and another subheading. And within the subheading, because it's really a long post, you need to divide into different tips. And each tip I have here several links that is um, routing to my old blog post so at least it will drive back to the old post the traffic will be divided to my old post published in the first week when we launched so it 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 will not be clickable it will not be searchable for my audience right now but I can drive traffic still yeah to them because of sharing or placing links here on the new post. Get what I mean? Although you have posted a, um, if, you, if you publish a post rather last year and you've written something similar to that, you can also drive traffic to that post, to the old post, by adding a link to it on your new post. And an audience will love that. Audience will click on that because they're curious. And they will see your post way back. Yeah, it's one way to drive old post um, traffic. And then another opt-in. By the way, when it comes to opt-in buttons, there's a rule of three. One in the beginning, one in the middle, one at the end. You'll observe that later. See? Uh, these are examples. So... You'll see here one here. You'll see three opt-in buttons, images to cut the content. Yeah, to cut the content. So, um, by the way, when it comes to images, you have the rule of seventy-five to one hundred um, words. Yeah, so every seventy-five to one hundred words, cut your post with image it doesn't matter if it's an infographic pin or or uh, another license free image yeah with a caption so just to distract a bit just to prevent your readers from being bored from your post don't list just plain words you're not writing a journal or uh, an academic journal, you're not writing a newspaper, you're writing a blog, you're writing for short span readers. Yes, so again, let me reiterate everything here before I end this tutorial. Yeah, first to kill, to kill blog post. To make a killer blog post, you need to have a powerful headline, a powerful feature image if your theme supports it, a powerful intro. I'll pause this a bit so at least you can get an idea how I do it or you can review the video re rewind or whatsoever and then um, you have the pin you have powerful subheadings you have opt-ins that are really convincing what makes a convincing opt-in there is a proof yeah, proof of what they will get from you and I have to acknowledge Melissa Griffin for that advice and we have here proof links backlinks yeah um in outbound they call it outbound links links taken from another source or external source 
and then you have another image to cut the attention or the, the yeah the attention of the audience before they get bored and if you can support an infographic for your post you can insert that too and always summarize even a short paragraph of everything you've written, make a short summary of what you've written. Usually, the, the readers will just have to drag, 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 scroll, 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 scroll down the long post and immediately proceed to the last post or the last paragraph. And to make that killer too, you need to include keywords again and the summary of everything. And make sure when you summarize, always touch their hearts, just like the way you did in the first part. And then don't forget the third option. And then, of course, you have written or you've created so much effort, you made so much effort to create this post, you need to ask to share it. Yeah, to share the post to them. And don't forget to ask. It's not really that bad. It's really not bad to ask for 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 sharing or to ask your audience for, to share this post to any of the social media accounts or on any social media profiles that they have and make sure you have to install plugins that supports the social media sharing yeah so that's it for this tutorial and by the way before i end always have your permalink um, adjusted. Make sure you have to adjust your permalinks to the same keywords you used for the entire blog post. And make sure you've installed Yoast SEO plugin to make sure that everything or let's say the, the keywords that you've used are in place. Alright, so that's it pal. Thank you.